Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the CSIT GATE 2019 paper solution. It is part 1 and here we are discussing about the solutions of the question that is asked under computer networks. So let's start. The very first question under this section was asked is which of the following are used to send and receive emails respectively right so basically if you know SMTP that is simple mail transfer protocol and POP3 so SMTP is responsible for sending or for outgoing mails and POP3 it is responsible for retrieving the mail right so option B is the correct answer so you can note down the, solu note down the solution here the next question asked is uh, in RSA algorithm, the value of n is given to you as 3007 uh, and the value of uh, theta of n that is uh, notations function you have given is 2880 uh, where c is euclidean totian, uh, totian function right so what is the value of the prime number which is greater than 50 so if you know RSA algorithm then in that if you will see here n is equals to p into q n is equals to p into q right so you can see here basically n is equals to p into q where p and q are the prime numbers and theta of n that is torsion function is p minus 1 into q minus 1 we have value of n that is 3007 and uh, torsion function is 2880 now, now we have to find the value of p and q so we have checked our value from the series of prime numbers and we have find out that 97 multiply with 31 we are getting 3007 right so 97 and 31 are the prime numbers according to the RSA algorithm for which it is satisfying our condition and if we uh, apply it on torsion function that is p minus 1 and q minus 1 we are also getting 2880 as our torsion functions value that is why we have asked in the question that the value of prime number which is greater than 50 so 97 here we are getting 97 as a prime number which is greater than 50 and 31 is the value which is less than 50 right so the 97 is correct answer here because we have asked what is the value of prime number which is greater than 50 right so according to RSA algorithm you have to apply these notations and you have to match the condition with the uh, given function and you will find out that uh, the right answer would be 97 right now the next question that was asked is that if 15 computers are to be connected using 8 port ethernet switches then the minimum number of switches which is required right where we have to assume that no separate uplink port is available right so how to do it basically uh, if you will design the network then you can design that it is one uh, ethernet switch it is another ethernet switch and it is another ethernet switch each ethernet switch has eight ports in it now the first ethernet port seven uh, ports are connected with seven pieces and eighth port is connected to the next ethernet port and if you will see here similarly the next six ports are connected with the pieces and last port uh, last port of the second switch is connected to third so that you can maintain the connection between each and every pc now the next two pc are further connected to this switch and your all 15 pieces are connected to ethernet switches and you will find here that uh, we required minimum number of three switches so that we can maintain 15 computers using eight port ethernet switches right so answer three is correct here the next question that was asked was a network with three hosts that is m n and p are having ip addresses 194.x.10.4 194.x.10.5 and 194.x.10.6 and their subnet mask is given to us that is 255.255.255.252 which of the following will be in the subnet right same subnet so this is basically common problem which we have solved in our earlier classes also basically what you have to make that you have to convert 255.255.255.252 in a binary notation like that 8 times 1 dot 8 times 1 dot 8 times 1 dot then 8 times uh, 6 times 1 and double zero so it is the binary notation of this IP address and you have to operate it with the given IP addresses 
after operation it with the given ip addresses you will find here that the all resultant network ids are in the form of 194.x.10.4 so we can conclude here that all three will be in the sub same subnet because we are getting network ids of the resultant uh, subnet mask is same right so option a would be the right answer guys if you find any correction or any improvement from our side in this video you can comment us and we will try to provide the improvement also and further if you have any questions that you have asked in your gate section regarding other subjects like algorithm data structures operating system so you can comment us and we will try to provide you their solutions as early as possible thank you so much guys for more solutions uh, such type of more video lectures subjects wise in for upcoming video lectures on gate and net and every type of examinations including job updation and any kind of uh, uh, notification alerts please subscribe to us and please press the bell icon button so that we can provide you uh, uh, latest video with that and you can get notified easily with our channel right so don't forget to subscribe and please press the bell icon and if you have any kind of queries or doubts you can comment, comment us and we will try to solve that as early as possible thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat